Chita Rivera, the dynamic dancer, singer and actress who garnered 10 Tony nominations, winning twice, in a long Broadway career that forged a path for Latina artists and shrugged off a near-fatal car accident, died Tuesday. She was 91. Rivera's death was announced by her daughter, Lisa Mordente, who said she died in New York after a brief illness. Rivera first gained wide notice in 1957 as Anita in the original production of West Side Story and was still dancing on Broadway with her trademark energy a half-century later in 2015's The Visit. I wouldn't know what to do if I wasn't moving or telling a story to you or singing a song, she told the Associated Press then. That's the spirit of my life, and I'm really so lucky to be able to do what I love, even at this time in my life. In August 2009, Rivera was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest honor the U.S. can give a civilian. Rivera put her hand over her heart and shook her head in wonderment as President Barack Obama presented the medal. In 2013, she was the marshal at the Puerto Rican Day Parade in New York City. Rivera rose from chorus girl to star, collaborating along the way with many of Broadway's greatest talents, including Jerome Robbins, Leonard Bernstein, Bob Foss, Gower Champion, Michael Kidd, Harold Prince, Jack Cole, Peter Gennaro, and John Kander and Fred Ebb. One of five children, she studied ballet from a young age and won a scholarship to George Balanchine School of American Ballet in New York. She was still a teenager when, on a whim, she auditioned with a friend for the touring company of the musical Call Me Madam and landed a role. I always tell kids today never to look down on the chorus and working there, Rivera said in an interview with the website theistage.co.uk in 2015. It's an extraordinary place to be. You will learn everything you will eventually have to do. In 1957, she married Tony Mordente, an actor and dancer in the show. She was such an integral part of West Side Story that its London production had to be delayed until after she gave birth to her only child, Lisa, in 1958.